Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Today is a very beautiful day outside. Indeed it is. And beautiful here inside. Yeah, and we are thinking of going to a duck pond. Well, it's like a beautiful park, but it has like an area where there's ducks, or actually the whole park has ducks. But in one specific area, there's lots of ducks. And we want to go buy some seeds so we can feed them. That would be pretty cool. It's going to be what, like in the 90s today? Yeah, very hot. Very hot. It's already hot. It's been hot since 8 in the morning when I was out here in the living room with Aviv. I don't want to go to the duck pond. Since okay. I don't like it when it's hot, I'm going back to bed. Good night. <laughs> and I sold my breast milk this morning. Woohoo! Yay! So exciting. I hope that girl's baby likes the milk. So this is actually the first time she picked it up. First you, time. You've been pumping, like, you had so many ounces, right? You had how many ounces? I had, like, 200, um, like, 36 or something like that. 236 ounces. Yeah. Who knows how much I'll be able to pump because he's going to start eating more. I mean, if I keep pumping and pumping and pumping, then my boobies will definitely keep producing. But I don't know. We'll see, but that was awesome. What's the matter, little and He's so fussy. I think he needs to poop. It's like his tummy thing, I guess. Yeah, he's being a fussy little guy. So it's been a very long day for me. I woke up at 7 in the morning and I never went back to bed. And like I said, last night I went to bed at 1.30 and I am, I am so tired. And this munchkin spent a lot of the day awake. And he doesn't want to be put down. He wants to be carried, nursed, even if he's full and already spitting up. He still wants the boob. Oh, so I am like so exhausted. I think I have, well, I have like a headache. And then also my right boob um, was really engorged in the morning. And so I have been, basically it's hurting inside. My boobie is hurting inside, so I'm trying to like nurse him on this right um, breast, so um, to empty it as much as possible. And then I asked Danny to stop at this um, Russian store and get some comfort comfort oil. I think it's called. Basically, you do like a compress. You soak like a paper tissue in that comfort oil. And then you put it all the way around your breast, under, on the sides, the top, everything. And then you put plastic wrap, and then you cover it with some kind of a cloth. I have like a piece of cashmere that I used with Joey. So I would put that on, um, and then obviously a tank top or whatever, like a nursing top. And you do that overnight, and uh, the only thing that you do is basically you uh, I mean you wash it before you nurse the baby and the smell it's easy to wash it off it's not like oil like really oily oil it's kind of like a dry kind of oil what's the matter sweetie so um you wash it off you nurse the baby you put it back on and you do that for like 12 to 48 hours and um, like the inflammation goes away. They used to do that to cows, I guess, to save a cow. That was how they, what they did. So my mom swears by it. My sisters swear by it. I swear by it. It works like a charm and you don't need like, you know, you don't need like antibiotics and stuff. So I'm going to load up on some vitamin C, like maybe 4,000 IU uh, vitamin C. And I'll take some echinacea, my prenatal vitamins and, um, probably do that if he brings it home if they even have it there and I'm going to probably take like an Epsom salt bath to heat it up and you know massage it and try to get as much milk out as possible so yeah and I nurse on the I sleep on the right side so and it actually hurts right on the side like on the side of like here's my arm so it hurts on this side, close to my arm, and that's how I'm laying, so I'm guessing that the milk didn't get, um, basically didn't leave, didn't get expressed when the baby was suckling. So I think that's what happened, because it was really full on that side, and then it started hurting. 
What a bummer, goodness gracious. And Danny is out with the boys. They went out to the park. Um, so they went out to sushi and then they went out to the park and I'm sitting home. But I can't see myself leaving the house today with the way I feel. I'm so tired and almost like, like I don't know, like hazy. like. And I know that that's because of lack of sleep. So yeah. <laughs> Oops. He was making these snoring sounds. So funny how babies, when they nurse, they make all kinds of noises. Squeaking and funny breathing sounds. So adorable. <laughs> yeah. Oh, goodness. Um, the boys are very tired today, too. I'm actually surprised they're actually running around like crazy at the park. I can totally see them passing out soon after bath. Like, yeah. They're going to take a bath, obviously, and then they will be put into pajamas and put to bed. I don't know if they're hungry or not because I think they went out to eat, so hopefully they're not hungry. And I am so ready to go to bed myself. Wow. Baby's in a dreamy state. <laughs> Look at that milk cheek. Oh my goodness. He's getting so chubby. <laughs> Those cute little soft cheeks. Filling in <laughs> with lots of breast milk. Goodness. So, I'm gonna order me some Tarte makeup. I don't know if you guys have heard of Tarte um, cosmetics, but they are like long lasting makeup, you know, which I think is totally perfect for a mom who is busy all day long. That is if you wear makeup or like makeup. Hey, buddy. Oh my gosh, he's like pulling on my nipple. Ouchie. Hey. Nom nom. <laughs> come on, come on. Not there, sweetie pie. That's not where mama is. There you go. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh. He grabs it like there's no tomorrow. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I'm going to order me some makeup. I'm getting those. Um, I was looking at their sale page like a clearance page I guess um, and they have these Amazonian butter lipsticks I'm getting that then I'm getting me an eyeshadow stick and I'm getting like this plum color eyeliner we'll see how that is so yeah I can't I can't wait it's always exciting to order something from them because I love that makeup it really it looks good. Not every color looks good on me. Like, um, I bought eyeshadow sticks, like cream eyeshadow sticks. And they, um, one of them, or a couple of them that just don't fit me, like the olive color. I thought it used to look good on me. I have no idea what happened. Probably, maybe, like, I don't know. I have no idea what happened. But olive does not look good on me anymore. I thought, like, like brunette, brown eyes, olive, yeah. But nope, not really, so... There's a couple colors that I do love, like the brown and uh, like a smoky topaz. Um, that those colors are great. So anyway, yeah, I just love that makeup. You put it on in the morning, and it sh usually lasts without smudges until evening. Yeah, sometimes I don't. Um, sometimes my makeup looks like crap in videos. I laugh at myself. I'm like, where was I looking? Like, do I even know how to put makeup on? No, not really. Um, but I kind of get the basics of it and um, I need like a nice mirror with some daylight like makeup mirror I do my makeup over the counter in the bathroom with the bathroom lighting which is like yellowish so in daylight you know it looks so different you can see all the flaws how embarrassing so yeah Danny was like, you need to get a good mirror. So that's definitely something I'll be ordering here. 
shortly, maybe in a week or something, um, when I find one that is nice on like good reviews on Amazon, which I think I did find. It's like 30 bucks. So yeah, and then I have this little like a school table thing that nobody's using. It's just it just has like a sewing machine standing on it, and just and the kids just like pretend to have an office, their office, you know. They put like keyboards and uh, calculators and such pens. So I think I'm going to use that little table and just set it up. It's my makeup station. I think that would be nice to have like a little something. Yeah, and it's okay. This is um, changing topics, but it's like 90 degrees outside today. Pretty humid. It's very humid actually outside. Um, so it feels like it's even hotter. It's not a good feeling at all. I think it totally adds to my tiredness and it makes me feel even worse. Oh goodness. But yeah, I'm waiting for my boys to come home so we can just go to bed. So there he is. He's making he is making dinner for mommy. Yeah? Mommy's taking a bath. And this guy's not very happy. Come on, what's wrong? What's wrong, baby? Mm. You're gonna be okay. Yeah, you can't be without mommy even for a minute. But you'll be okay. Mm. You'll be okay. So mama just went to bed with the baby. The baby was fussy. And these boys are getting ready for bedtime. And Gabriel here wants to say something about how happy he is to go to bed. Are you happy, Gabe? I don't know why. No. Gabe doesn't want to go to bed. <laughs> Are you happy to go to bed? Yeah. Yeah. I want another toy. You got some milk on your on your. You got a milk mustache? <laughs> yeah. I want a napkin. You want what? A napkin. A napkin. Okay. <laughs> 